Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to the Road Warrior. I, I, I try to keep up on trends. It's a holdover from my radio days when you need to find something to talk about. And I guess really since I need to always find something to talk about every week here and we're on my Mason Minute podcast, masonminute.com. I'm always, you know, reading these little tidbits of news. And one of the things I saw recently was that Dunkin' Donuts brought back pumpkin spice lattes or pumpkin spice whatever back in August. It was the earliest they'd ever brought the pump, the pumpkin spice latte back. And you got your people loving it and your people hating it. And then I saw a little story about a couple of weeks later about some companies kind of pushing back a little bit on pumpkin spice. That maybe pumpkin spice's time was over. Doesn't really matter. They're pushing a new flavor this year to try to get people reinvigorated for those who hate pumpkin spice. Apple cider flavored stuff. Coffee, muffins, ice cream, whatever. And I thought to myself, no, I mean, I always equated fall and, you know, bonfires and, you know, football, tailgates and things like that, that apple cider always worked. I was always a fan of apple cider as a kid, and it's one of those things that, you know, like anything, comes and goes. No big deal. It really doesn't matter. But I thought to myself, why do these things ever go away? I understand seasonal. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I could have a pumpkin spice anything in July, in April. I like pumpkin-flavored stuff. Well, not all pumpkin flavors, but some pumpkin-flavored stuff. I mean, I like pumpkin pie ice cream or, you know, pumpkin-flavored ice cream or something. Or yogurt or even in April. It's not a big deal. I also love apple cider flavors. I love apple flavors in just about almost anything. I even, you know, apple pie yogurt, that kind of stuff. Um, So I like apple flavoring. But again, I realize we've made apples and apple cider a fall thing. Back when I was in college we were known for having an apple butter festival. For the life of me, I know it's a fall thing, but I couldn't tell you if it was September, October, November, when it was. But I do love some apple butter. It's not something I see very often anymore. It's something, number one, it's not great for me health-wise. I mean, it is what it is, but I like it a lot, so I tend to eat too much, and therefore it's not good. But I know somebody like Smucker's has apple butter. It's not the same as, as the fresh homemade stuff. I mean, it's Smucker's. It comes in a jar. It is what it is. But I'll get some apple butter, especially if I'm out and about at like a pancake restaurant or something like that, and they got one of those little little plastic trays of the Smucker's jams, the little square containers. And every now and again, you get a, you, know, you always get your grape and you always get your strawberry jam. But every now and again, you'll get an apple butter. That's when I'll go crazy on the apple butter. Get some extra toast or something like that and finish up all that apple butter. I feel sorry for it. But I find it funny that we have people who just get passionate online, whether it's on Reddit whether it's on Twitter, whatever it is, about pumpkin spice, hating it, loving it, whatever, and then about replacing it with apple butter, or not with apple butter, with apple cider. I'm like, why do we have to replace? Why can't we just have both? Because some days I feel like apple, some days I feel like pumpkin. I think we make things up to be bigger deals than what they are, just to have something to talk about, just for some free hype. I mean, you know, because I live on the internet, because I do it for a living, that's the one thing I've learned. We're always trying to find ways to make hype. We're always trying to find ways to market things. Bear with me, I'm trying to get over here. And I've got too many people not wanting me to get over. Anyway, um, I, so I, I sometimes think we're just saying these things, just to say these things, just to be in the middle of conversations that really don't matter. It's just silly stuff. Bring on the pumpkin, bring on the apple. So if you see less pumpkin spice this year, And more apple cider, you now know why. Marketing hype. Back next week, another Road Warrior. KevinMason.us, home to all the Road Warrior videos. Facebook, YouTube, we got them there too. We love it when you comment. We love it when you subscribe. We love it when you tell a friend. We love it when you share. Um, Like, comment, subscribe, share. I think I hit all the points. Maybe someday again on something I'll scroll across the bottom here. Let's let's watch that little banner scroll across. There are graphics you can attach to your YouTube videos much more work than really needs to be done here. Isn't that the case? We're back next week. Thanks.